Oh, big time here. Uh, first, uh, I want to say welcome uh, to all the parents um, that came to watch us play at the end here. Uh, if everybody doesn't know me, my name is Mike Greco. I'm the girls varsity coach here at the uh, high school. I'm also a math teacher. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be part of this camp going on almost 30 years now. Uh, started as a camper like these guys, you know, started working on it as soon as I could. And uh, I'm lucky enough that I get to get to direct it now. So um, first thing I want to do is I want to make sure we give a big thank you to all the parents who are here. If your parents aren't here, whoever drove you every day, give them a big round of applause. Make sure you say thank you. You know, if they're not here when you get home today, for, uh, for signing you up, for driving you, for picking you up every day. Uh, it's a big commitment. You know, you guys are very fortunate enough to be here. So make sure to give them a big thanks. The other people we want to thank are uh, all the folks down at the Parks and Rec office, uh, Colleen Allen, Jenny Hart, and Jake Elfie. They do a great job taking care of registration, um, you know, reserving the gyms for us and stuff like that. Uh, so we couldn't do it without them. And of course, we want to thank Coach Keen over here. He's been a big part of this camp for a long time, took it over from the legendary Coach Bliss years ago. Um, it's only kept a good thing going. And lastly, thank you all the, coach, all the folks down at H Camp for coming here and, and videoing uh, that final game. It was a great one. All right, yeah, give him a round of applause. Okay, the next three guys we want to thank were our counselors this week, all right? That was Anthony DeLuca, Sam Pantera, Jack Ionelli. All three of those guys are going to go into their junior year. They were members of the Hopman basketball program last uh, season. You guys can come see them play again this winter on the varsity team. They had a good time stretching you guys out, refereeing games, helping out with a lot of drills. They really did a great job. So a big round of applause for them. And the next guys we're going to introduce are our coaches. We had these guys split up in the teams all week. They got to work with the coach one-on-one, um, -on -one, you know, a lot of the time. And uh, so the first guy we're going to bring up is Coach Romanko, coach of Michigan State. Good week for Michigan State. Uh, you know, this is my third time, I think, being last in four <laughs> camps I've worked here. So I might have to put that on the coach at this point. Uh, we had a good week. I loved the way we fought in our playoff game yesterday. Brought the intensity, I uh, just fell a little bit short, but we played hard. That's what we're here for. So I'm just going to hand out these real quick. Uh, Shrey. Austin. Where are you at, Austin? Travis. Travis couldn't miss today. Gavin. Casey and Will. Good job, guys. All right, next coach we're going to bring up is uh, one of my former players. She's also a math teacher here at the high school and is uh, the girls' JV coach. Coach Pucci had the UCLA Bruins this week. coaching UCLA. It was awesome getting to know you all and um, I hope you take what we are learning all throughout this week and keep working on it this summer and this winter um, and keep having fun with each other. So I'll call everybody up. First up is Matthew. Coach Casper, he was a senior on the varsity team last year. He just graduated. He's going on to continue his basketball career at Western New England. He was the coach of the Indiana Hoosiers. Yeah. 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 
pretty good week. Uh, finished 500 and then went into the playoffs and uh, won the first playoff game. It was good and then fell short. Tishner's team in the second round, but I could tell that everyone got better and enjoyed playing, so that's what it's all about. So first we got Ryan. Connor. Aiden. Owen. Ryland. Tim, who unfortunately is not here. Zach. Okay, the next coach we're going to bring up is Coach Golden. He's the boys' freshman basketball coach. He's also a teacher here at the high school. He had the UNC Tar Heels this week. Coach. We had a fun week with the North Carolina Tar Heels. Uh, group, group of kids. Hope you guys had a good time. Hope you guys learned a lot. Hope to see you guys back here again at camp next year if you are able to return. And we'll see a lot of you guys in school in 33 days. We're going back to school. You guys excited? It's Jacob, thank you. All right, so I'm going to call you guys up one at a time. Socket, good and potty? Nadej, Kata. Kuba Riley. Hey, Kuba. How do you pronounce it? Connor Sullivan. Michael Sullivan. And last but not least, we are very fortunate this week uh, in the Tar Heel program to have our general manager slash athletic director with us, just like he was last week. He's the star of our unified basketball team. We're starting our season in a couple months here at the high school. He's going to be a sophomore. He helped us coach. He played for us during Jacob time. Had an awesome week. We've got a certificate and a trophy for everyone's favorite, Jacob Morasco. Yeah! 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 Before, before I uh, hand it over to the next coach, Jacob just wants to say a few words. Hey, Jacob. Hey guys. Good to see you guys. The, thank you, Carl. The, thank you, us. The, thank you. The early show for you guys. So proud to see that. I mean, so proud. I know. Bless my God. I love you guys. This, earn it. Earn it. All right. All right, next coach we're going to bring up was also a senior this past year in the varsity team. He's going on to play soccer at RPI. Coach Owen Schnurr with the Duke Blue Devils. Uh, we had a great week this week. Uh, unfortunately, Fell uh, a little bit short in the finals for my second week in a row, which is kind of annoying. But uh, <laughs> guys played very well. I loved our defense and our pride on defense, and uh, we played real Hiller basketball. Uh, Sean Paul. Arjun. Kyle Carson. Sean. Coach Brian Willar, the Kansas Jayhawks. He's the varsity boys coach over in Westboro. He's got a date circle on his calendar for February when they host the Hillers this year. Coach Willar. Woo! All right, so I had the pleasure of coaching Kansas this week. Um, I can tell you, as you see when they come up, we definitely had the smallest team in camp, but this group played defense. They dug in every possession, all right? 
They played great help defense. They pushed the ball. They were unselfish in offense. Came out on top with a great championship game. So as I call you, come up and get your certificate and your trophy, all right? Tommy Beatty. Three. Tommy. Andrew, AJ, Bochaman. Colby Crumb. Quiet is getting damp. Connor McNally. Finale. got some hardware to pass out here for the, our uh, individual competitions. Um, so the first one is our knockout competition. It's a free throw game where the guy's got to make a uh, free throw or late before the person behind you knocks you out. We had uh, 24 finalists shot down to one winner from each team. So we had six uh, guys shoot off the main basket. And that was Socketh, Noah, Travis, Ryland, Kellen, and Arjun. But the camp champ today was Arjun Pallori. Uh, next competition is the dribble tag competition. It's a ball handling game. You got to keep control of your dribble, protect your flag. And again, we had 24 kids uh, face off, and it came down to a final four of Ryland, Miles, Tory, and Arjun. But the camp champ today, the big man, Ryland August. Next, we had the free throw competition at halftime of all the games all week. Kids all shot free throws, we tracked them. We had anybody who made over 50% shoot off in the finals today. Uh, we had two guys uh, that both made eight out of 10. That was Shale Motwain and Gavin Cho. But the camp chant today in sudden death overtime was Gavin Cho. We had a one-on-one -on -one competition where the kids scramble off every day playing one-on-one -on -one at all six baskets. Uh, same thing, we tracked the points. We had the top 20 or so kids play off today. And it came down to a final four of Miles Heavey, Ben Pantera, Gavin Show, and Liam Grady. And in a, a real great final game there, uh, Ben Pantera was the champ champ. Don't go too far, Ben. So next we had the uh, the three-on-three -three finals, where the kids are split up into three-on-three -three teams. Uh, again, they scrambled off throughout the gym. We had the uh, the final seven teams, so a little over half the camp playoff today, and with a very nice free agent pickup uh, with a player absent today, Kyle Carson, Owen Tomasino Stewart, and Ben Pantera were the camp champs. All right, our next competition is the Coca-Cola Shootout. It's a shooting competition where the guys have got to score from different spots around the court uh, in 45 seconds. Um, we had a final six today of Connor Sullivan, Rocco Spinelli, Shale Motswain, Connor Wen, Kellen Keane, and Sean Paul. But the winner in the finals with 42 points, Rocco Spinelli. Let's go. Our last competition was the three-point shootout. Uh, we just did that today. We had everybody shoot. Uh, so we got a winner from each team, see how many threes they can make in 45 seconds. Came down to a final six of Connor Sullivan, Sean Paul, Matt Fitzgibbon, Connor Wynn, 
Travis Rich and Tommy Beattie, both 11 threes in the last rounds. Connor Sullivan was the camp champ. So the last three awards we have to give out are the ones that the uh, coaching staff and the counselors and I spent a lot of time talking about throughout the week. Uh, first one is the Sportsmanship Award. Uh, and it's always nice when you have a whole bunch of kids that you know are, are in consideration. This was certainly one of those weeks. We really had a great time working with this group. Um, but the one guy that stood out was constantly cheering on his team, even when he was injured. He was uh, helping pick up basketballs, doing a lot of little things, uh, hustled all over the court, took more charges in one-on-one -on -one than we've seen in a long time. Tommy Beatty. Yes, Tommy! The next award is the Defensive Player of the Week. Um, anybody who ever seen the Hillers play knows it's something that uh, they put a lot of emphasis on. So it's an award that we are always looking for. Um, this goes to a player this week that was in a lot of the finals, You know, had his team really battling all the way down the stretch, came up just short in the finals, but um, was, was a defensive force to be reckoned with all week. He was all over the place, reading passing lanes, double teaming. Um, he really had a great all around week. And that was Tori Alstrom Hall. That three time? Yeah. Three time defensive player of the week. Excuse no, me. No. Excuse me. Um, the last one uh, is our Hiller of the Week. Uh, this goes to um, a student athlete that uh, we thought not only competed uh, in just about every facet of the game this week, was in a lot of the finals, uh, was really showed tremendous leadership on his team, made a lot of clutch shots, uh, really just had an all around great week. But he's the guy that stood out was Miles Heavey. Yeah, Miles! All right, so that's going to do it for us. We had a great week working with you guys. We hope that you learned a lot. Um, please, please, please take some of the things that you learned, whether it's the ball handling drills or the passing drills, playing one-on-one, -on -one, playing three-on-three, -three, and keep working on your game all summer. The season is a very short four months away. Sign up early next year and enjoy the rest of your summers.